Welcome to the fundamentals of operating the Mitsubishi controller's interface so you can get the right cuts from your do-all bandsaw. To get started, here's a short summary of the functionality of the console. Begin by turning on the main power switch. The machine will then boot up. Next, the machine must be referenced. To do that, we have to activate the safety switch which reads out at the top of the screen. This is done by pressing the reset button. The reference screen will then appear, and if it has not been referenced since it was powered up last, you'll have to reference the machine. Once it's referenced, it will bring you to the main cutting screen. The whole panel is then shown. On your main control panel, you will have two start buttons to start the machine. For safety purposes, you have to hit both of them simultaneously to begin a cutting cycle. The stop button is to stop the machine. This dial adjusts the head fall, which determines how fast the saw is going to drop down. In case of an emergency, push the e-stop button to stop all powered activities and twist to deactivate. The center section of buttons control the physical movement of the bandsaw, such as clamping and indexing. These buttons may be located in different areas of the controller depending on the capabilities of the saw. These are your indexing clamps for opening and closing. These move your indexer in and out, bringing your materials away and towards the blade. This is the fixed vise control. They unclamp and clamp your raw materials into place. These are to move the head or saw up and down. Back on the screen, you can adjust the blade speed. In this example, it is set to feet per minute. You can use the plus or minus buttons to manually increase or decrease the speed. The top button will turn on your hydraulics. Whether they're on or off is indicated by the circle. Next is the Euler Mist Lubricator. Again, touch to toggle on, off, or automatic where it only runs while cutting. It works the same with your chip auger, on, off, or automatic. This function lets you move the indexer on your own, also called the manual feeder position. You have two options. This is the actual position of the feeder at the time and then you'll be making an absolute adjustment by clicking on the ABS button. In this example, it will take the feeder to 15 inches. Regardless of where it is, it'll come into 15. Or in this case, it's basically at zero and it will move to 15. For the relative setting, it moves the material a certain amount regardless of where the material is located at the time. In this case, we're showing an input of five and you can choose to move it in whichever direction it would move it from 15 to 10. If we do it again, it'll move from 10 to 5. For the bottom start button, it will move our inputted number plus the width of the blade. On this page, you have the virtual controls or software buttons. The physical buttons are available via the software and they'll have the same functions as the buttons we saw earlier. Fixed clamp in and out, indexing clamp in and out, head up and down, and indexer in and out. This screen shows advanced settings and diagnostics. The second screen shows what angle the head is at. Another feature that this Mitsubishi controller offers is setting the angle of the head. By loosening the clamp, you're able to rotate the head and the screen reads out the angle. When it's back in position, you can tighten the clamp. We can now start our automatic programming. First, you have to go to B and name the program. Give it an author. A short description can also be useful. Load the program by selecting the C button. At this point, you're putting in the length and quantity of the cut. Remember to push save when we're finished. When you go to the D screen, you can run the automated program. Here you can set multiple cuts. One single cut is used in this demonstration. Once the program is selected, a green check mark will appear. Hit the start buttons. It will ask you if you want to cut the front of the bar to identify the material and provide a clean edge for exact cutting. Select yes or no. Neither counts toward your cut quantity. This example shows a cut all the way through the front of the material and then continues on its program by indexing back and cutting again. After the cut, the head will raise until it's all the way out of the material, at which point you can go and check the cut. We've shown you the basics of the Mitsubishi controller to get you cutting. 
If you're still having trouble or have additional questions, review your operator's manual for more detailed instructions. We are always available to assist by contacting us at 1-888-362-5572 or by visiting our website at www.doallsaws.com.